let's move on to the second round of typical vegetables in German cuisine. Eaten in winter and also often harvested after the first frost is Grünkohl, kale, also known regionally as Braunkohl, brown cabbage, or Krauskohl, curly cabbage. Brassica oleraceae variata sabellica. This year we will see what has developed from the original or wild form of the Brassica oleraceae vegetable kale. Kale is planted in the cold frame in May. Care should be taken to ensure that no cabbage has grown there in recent years and that the soil is loamy and rich in humus. The cabbage is a very thirsty crop and to protect it from pests the next crop should not be planted immediately after one. Once the leaves have formed the cabbage needs plenty of water but no water logging. Industrially, the plants are harvested as early as September in the private sector. The first frost is typically waited for. The cold temperatures break down the starch and make the cabbage milder. Cabbage is also hardly down to around minus 10 degrees Celsius. The cabbage can also be harvested starting from the bottom so that it continues to grow at the top whereby the outer leaves are harder and require longer cooking times. Depending on the varieties the plant can grow up to two meters high and there are varieties with corresponding names such as Lippische Palme, Lippisch palm tree. Kale is one of the oldest types of cabbage and is widely used in many cuisines. It has been cultivated in what is now Germany since at least the 16th century, but was used in ancient Rome and Greece as early as 300 BC and probably came from Anatolia around 2000 BC, spreading to Asia and Europe. Cabbage came to Canada and the USA via Russia and Russian merchants in the 19th century. But even in Germany, kale is not widespread everywhere. It has traditionally roots in the northern Germany and is rather known in the south. My family loves kale. But when I worked in Bavaria, or rather Franconia, you can't eat kale there. Anyone who eats kale also eats small children, some colleagues said. Kale has been an integral part of the world's oldest annual brotherly meal the Schaffer Mahlzeit in Bremen since 1545. Originally held as a farewell meal for merchants and ship owners at the end of winter, hence the name Schaffer, which means working people, people who work. Nowadays 100 merchants, 100 seamen and 100 public figures are always invited. Kale trips are also very well known in Lower Saxony. We also cook our kale in the North German style, whereby it is originally prepared with lard. We actually used canned kale for this. There are plenty of varieties available all year round from the freezer or in the jar. It looks like this in the field. Of course, you can buy fresh kale, chop it up and cook it accordingly. The thicker parts of the stalks and stems should be removed. We also add the typical sausages and the belly meat. Depending on the region, we use smoked or unsmoked metwurst, cabbage sausage or grützwurst, sometimes also called pinkel. Belly meat also goes well with it. There are also dishes where kasla is served with it. We always prepare it the day before and cook it thoroughly. Fresh cabbage is usually cooked for at least 45 minutes to soften it. Preserved cabbage doesn't really need to be cooked any longer, but the kale actually tastes very good, if not better, when boiled again. Depending on how intense you want the flavor of the sausages in the kale to be, you can prick the sausages or even cut them into small pieces. Hey, 
Ayos ah. Kaya't malag mo. Can I? Add a little allspice. The whole thing boils up so that the liquid is reduced. You can also leave the lid open a little so that it evaporates. If it is still too liquid at the end, you can add a few oat flakes. We serve it with fried potatoes. Others also use boiled potatoes. Delicious. If you like, add a little mustard to the sausages and meat. There are, of course, many other websites with numerous recipes. While cabbage is traditionally cooked thoroughly in Germany, there are also some dishes in which the cabbage is blanched. In the USA, on the other hand, cabbage is traditionally served as a salad, which is rarely the case here. Cabbage is full of good vitamins and trace elements. For example, vitamin Z or A and iron, potassium and magnesium, as well as fiber. This is why kale is also used in smoothies. There are now also recipes for making kale potato chips or hearty cakes. If you have any experience, please share it in the comments. Thank you for your attention and bon appetit.